Hi you guys, welcome to another tarot video with Nikki. Today we're going to go over the Magician card. It is one of my favorite cards. Um, when it comes up right in the reading, it's a very positive omen. It can be very empowering and kind of a reminder of our power and our ability to manifest. It's one of the more simple cards when it comes to symbolism. So classically, you will see a man um, behind an altar, and it's the first card in the tarot deck. Um, just like the High Priestess is number two, which is a feminine number, in my interpretations, the Magician is the Divine Masculine, because the number one is masculine because it's the initiator. Um, usually they're wearing some type of robe or a cape. And then you'll see representations of each of the suits of tarot, and each one represents the elements. The cup represents the water, the pentacle represents earth, the sword is air, and the wand is fire. It signifies our ability to channel the spiritual energy throughout the universe and manifest it into the material. So, like I said, the four suits represent each element, and having all these together within the table and the altar represent having balance and control over these forces. The wand, which is also associated with fire, represents our ability to manifest ideas into reality and transform it. The infinity symbol, usually it's above their head, indicates infinite and constant possibilities and connection between the physical and the spiritual. And the table symbolizes the material world and the physical and the tools that we have to manifest. And the representation of these, it's not necessarily meaning that you need all of these tools, you just need the elements. So the most commonly interpreted meaning of the Magician card is manifestation, plain and simple. Um, he's kind of the facilitator and he bridges the gap between the physical and spiritual realms. And it emphasizes visualization and what can be brought forth into existence through focused willpower and aligned action. The tools represent mastery. And it also represents our emotions, our stability, our thoughts, and our creativity. The creativity is associated with fire. The pentacle, of course, is the physical, the earth, the material. The swords represent our thoughts and intellect. And the cups represent our emotions and our relationships. It also represents the connection to the divine. You can see how he's pointing upwards towards the heavens, and his other hand is pointing downwards. This represents balance between the physical and the spiritual. And lastly, the magician represents the aspect of creation that brings things to life. It can represent your desires manifesting, um, things coming to fruition. Depending on the cards that's surrounding it, it can tell you that you need to work on your manifestation. Maybe you've kind of been slacking off, or you need a little push from spirit. So when it's reversed, um, this is one interpretation that states that it can indicate black magic, or someone, you know, working you spiritually, or sending you really bad vibes that can manifest as if it were a spell. Um, it can kind of indicate spiritual deception, trickster spirits, um, faulty spiritual foundations that leave us vulnerable, uh, miscommunication, difficulty expressing yourself, uh, blocked potential, a lack of focus, kind of no clarity, no direction, no confidence in your abilities, um, trickery, either towards ourselves encountering deceitful people or being the deceitful person ourselves. Lack of initiative, feeling powerless or unable to take action. 
So the astrology associated with the magician, usually it's associated with Mercury, which is, of course, the planet of communication, messages, intellect, um, anything to do with writing and manifestation. And it's associated with Gemini and Virgo because these two zodiac signs are ruled by Mercury. Some interpretations will also include the sun because of its ability to bring forth life and bring forth energy and express things. So when it's upright, it's a pretty positive card. It's very empowering, like I said, and it's a reminder that we need balance in all of the elements to bring forth what we want. And it also reminds you to take a wide action with the emphasis on the earth. You know, you can't just sit on your couch all day and expect things to manifest. There is a certain amount of work and a line action that needs to take place for our manifestations to come to life. All right, so that's it for the magician. Not super lengthy, but I hope it gives you an idea of the card symbolism and what it will mean in readings. If you would like to book your own personal reading, please visit the link in my description for my booking platform and we will get you taken care of. All right, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.